morning, everyone. Uh, I called President Trump and told him I wanted to be here myself to call out what is a travesty of justice. And I think everybody around the country can see that. President Trump is, is a friend, and I wanted to be here to support him. I'm here speaking with you outside because the court won't allow us to speak inside the building. That's just one of the many things that are wrong here. This is the, the, the fifth week that President Trump has been at court for this sham of a trial. They are doing this intentionally to keep him here, keep him off of the campaign trail. And I think everybody in the country can see that for what it is. I'm an attorney, I'm a former litigator myself. I am disgusted by what is happening here. What is being done here to our entire system of justice overall. The people are losing faith right now in this country, in our institutions. They're losing faith in our system of justice. And the reason for that is because they see it being abused as it is being done here in New York. The facts here are very important. Facts are always important in a trial, or at least they're supposed to be. The president's actions in this matter were previously reviewed and no charges were filed. Why is that? Because there's no crime here. Now, eight years later, suddenly they've resurrected this thing. They brought it back, and why is that? Well, just apply common sense, everyone can see. It's painfully obvious that we're now six months out from an election day. And, and that's the reason. That is the reason why they brought these, these charges here and across the country. What we've got here is a partisan Democrat district attorney. We have a Biden donor judge, and we have an assistant DA who was recently a top official at the Department of Justice, Biden's DOJ. 